In this problem, a ball is being thrown from 160 feet in the air. It's being thrown upward. Alright? Just being thrown upward, that ball is going to go and hit the ground. Well, we're going to determine the time it takes to reach the maximum height. That's the first thing we'll do. And then secondly, we'll determine how long does it take for that ball to hit the ground once it reaches that person's hand. They'll lift their hand like this. Alright? So, I think the first thing we should do is let's make a sketch, rough sketch, a picture of what's going on here. So I'm going to go over the side, just make a rough sketch. For the X variable, I'm going to call that time. And for the Y variable, I'm going to call that height. And when the height is in feet, and the time is in seconds, as you can see. All right? So yeah, T is your X, H of T is your Y, Y axis, X axis. This is H of T, the height at a time T. Let's start out, well, what's going on at time equal to zero? If I substitute a zero here, 916 times zero squared plus 80 times zero plus 160 is 160. So, what's going on is that zero seconds falls at 160 feet. Okay? And then, someone throws the ball. Hmm, it's been thrown. And as time ticks, you know, one second, two seconds, three seconds, etc. This ball is just going to be thrown up, go up in the air, it's going to come down, and eventually it'll be at a height of zero. Alright, so this is just a rough sketch of what's going on once the ball leaves the person's hand. Alright, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, etc. Height is in feet. So at zero seconds, the ball is at 160 feet. Well, we want to determine how long does it take for the ball to reach maximum height? Well, we look at the picture, and when that's going to be at the vertex. Get a determined letter A? Right? right there. That's the maximum height, and that's called the vertex. The vertex has the formula negative B over 2A for the X variable, and then we've got to plug that in to find the corresponding one. Alright? So I'm going to plug in negative B over 2A. That's A, that's B, that's C. Here, you're A, you're B, you're C. So what's negative B over 2A? What's negative 80 over 2 times negative 16? And I get 2.5 seconds. That's how long it takes. So to be very specific, 1, 2, and about 2 and a half seconds. I'll make that three seconds right there. Yeah, when I'll just go. This is at 2.5 seconds. How do you find a height? Substitute 2.5 in here. Keep in mind this problem, all right, we consider this in a vacuum, you know, no air resistance, etc. If I substitute 2.5 into this function, I'll determine the height at 2.5 seconds. And everyone, if you substitute a 2.5 here, and a 2.5 here, negative 16 times 2.5 squared plus 80 times 2.5 plus 160 is 260 feet. That's after you substitute 2.5 into that function. So right here, everyone, it's reached a height of 260 feet. So this is the point 2.5 seconds, 260 feet. Makes sense. At zero seconds, it was at 160 feet. Not two and a half seconds, it's at 260 feet. It's gone up 100 feet. But then the ball's going to go down. So the last thing we're going to do is to determine how long does it take for the ball to hit the ground. How many seconds? Well, it looks like it'll take two and a half seconds to get to here, as we know. So it'll be two and a half more seconds to get to here because of symmetry. But then it's going to probably take a second or more to get to, head, to hit that ground. When it hits the ground, What's the height? A height of zero. So set height equal to zero and we'll solve this letter B. Now I'm going to set height equal to zero. So when the ball hits the ground, and we'll solve this quadratic equation. Aha, though, we can't factor this, so let's use the quadratic formula. Okay? And the quadratic formula is x equal to negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And all I'm going to do is substitute the a and the b and the c into this 
quadratic equation, get our answer. So remember, your A, your B, your C. So to solve this, x equals negative B over 2 times A plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C. Extend that radical. And that's all over 2 times A. All we've got to do is simplify this. This is 2.5. And if you take the square root of that on the calculator, it comes out to be about 128.99. That's over a negative 32. And what we have here, I'm going to simplify this. And when we have 2.5, Plus or minus, this right here comes out to be roughly 4.03. All right, these are irrational numbers, so they just kind of go on and on and on. I'm going to do a dot 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 there. Okay. So our answer, we got two, we got two answers here. Which one are we taking? Is it 2.5? That's a negative. Plus negative 4.03, or is it 2.5 minus a negative 4.03? Everyone, our answer has to be positive, right? Time has to be positive, so we'll take the positive solution of these two solutions. And of these two solutions right here, 2.5 minus 4.03 or 2.5 minus a negative, which is 2.5 plus 4.03, we'll take the positive. So our answer to this problem is 2.5 plus 4.03. Remember, this is approximated because it kept on going, but we can approximate time to two decimal places, right? And we get 2.5 plus 4.03. Our solution is 6.53 seconds. And I'll just put a, you know, a little squiggle in front as I round it out to two places. That's how long it takes. So right here, it hits the ground, all right, at 6.53 seconds. But the height is at zero. That's it.